Version 6.8 of Prisma is here, and there are some great new features which will allow you to do things like use Prisma Postgres locally, and also allow you to use the VS Code agent mode to make development faster. Why don't we start with local Prisma Postgres, and we can do so using this command, npx prisma dev. We just run that, and what we'll get is a connection string to a local Prisma Postgres database. So there is our database URL, it is Prisma plus Postgres, so what we would see if we're connecting to the actual Prisma Postgres remote database, but we're going to localhost 51213 here. We've got our API key in just the same way we would have it with a remote Prisma Postgres database, but this allows us to do local dev, and then we can push up changes, do migrations against our remote database after operating locally. So why don't we copy this? Let's just get this string, and we'll put this into the .env file here. All right, so that's good to go. We don't yet have Prisma wired up, but we're going to do that. We're going to initialize Prisma, but let's leave this terminal window as is. We'll leave this running. This needs to be running in order for this database to be operational. All right, so in a new terminal window, let's do our typical npx Prisma init. And now what we can do is go into our schema file and add some models here, and we'll try to get migrations running against that local Prisma Postgres database. All right, so let's have a model of user. Sure, that's fine. Let's have another model of post, and that looks good too. All right, so we have our database running. Again, it's running in this terminal. This is local Prisma Postgres using PG Lite, and we've got localhost here. That's all good. We have also got this in our environment file, so that's set to go. So now when we're over here and we run migrations, we should have everything in the schema put up against that database. So we'll do npx Prisma migrate dev, and the name can be init. All right, great. So the migration has been applied. We've got our migrations directory there. Why don't we see if we can find this now in Prisma Studio? So let's go like this, npx Prisma Studio. So that should be wired up. Now over here, we have got our post model, our user model. No data in there just yet, but everything seems to be good against that migration that we just ran. All right, so next let's take a look at VS Code agent mode, which allows us to use the Copilot chat window in agent mode to be able to get things done with Prisma. So I'm in cursor right now. This is my daily driver IDE, but let's switch over to VS Code. So here we've got the same project open in VS Code. And if we go up here to this icon, so the Copilot icon, and choose open chat, what we can do is start to use the Prisma commands that are available for the Copilot chat. And we can get a sense of those if we come over here into the extensions area. Let's go to the Prisma extension. We'll just close the chat for a second. Let's go to features and to language language model tools. So this gives us a sense of what's available. So we can check a Prisma migrate status, for example. We can do a migrate resets, launch Prisma Studio, all sorts of things we can do with Prisma through the chat window, and they're available with descriptions here. So let's try it out. Let's come up here again, open that chat window, and let's say something like, am I logged into the Prisma data platform? Now here's a key thing. I put this command in while we're in ask mode here, but to get this to operate correctly, we need to switch over to agent mode. So let's try that again. Am I logged into the Prisma data platform? Now the difference we'll see is that we are using those tools to go check the auth status. All right, great, we've got a good result. We are currently logged into the Prisma data platform. So we've got all those details here. So this was all done for us by way of putting in a prompt to the chat, and we can do even more. For example, let's say, please create a new database called Copilot. All right, looks like things are done. We've got a Prisma Postgres database called Copilot that has been successfully created. Why don't we check to see in the Prisma data platform if it's there. There we go, we've got our Copilot database. So everything is working and we got this database in place through the chat instead of going through the UI here in the Prisma data platform. There's a lot more we can do here with chats. So this ability here to use these tools through the VS Code Copilot chat should make it easier for development when we're building our databases, our models. And especially if you're already using AI agents to get things done, this should feel right at home for you. So let's take a look at two more things. One is that we've now got the Singapore region available to us, so we can do a new project. And if you want to use the Singapore region instead of one of the others that we've got, we've got that now. So Singapore, let's just give our project a name, get started with Prisma Postgres, and now we can select a region and we have 
Asia Pacific, which is Singapore here. So we can choose that and use it if we like. Now, the last thing to look at here is native support for Dino. So if you happen to be using Dino, there's a way to use it here within our schema. And we'll show that here. Instead of using Prisma Client JS, we have to go for the new Prisma Client generator here. So Prisma Client JS is typically what we would use, but there's this new one called Prisma Client. And then to tell it here that we want to use Dino, we select a runtime of Dino. Then the next time we generate, we'll have all of the artifacts built using this Prisma client generator that will give us what we need for Dino support. All right, so that's all to look at today for the updates in Prisma 6.8. Let us know how it goes when you're using local Prisma Postgres. Again, that's MPX Prisma Dev to get a local Prisma Postgres database. And also how it goes for you if you're using the VS Code Copilot extension. Feel free to drop a comment below or you can reach out to us. We're on the web at prisma.io or x slash Twitter. We're at Prisma there. And we'd also love for you to join the community in Discord. We'll leave a link for that below. And if you enjoyed this video and want to get more Prisma updates and other content, we would love if you would hit subscribe. Thanks for watching.